Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today it's with great pride that I'm unboxing Q Acoustics brand new Q3050i, the new i series floor standing speaker. Now these guys come in pairs, one behind me here. We're going to concentrate on just unboxing one of them today because obviously they are identical. Now looking at it, like all Q Acoustics packaging, these are um, you know, basic in their design. Brown paper, sorry, brown cardboard with some white photos and other pictorials. There's some basic information about the uh, Q Acoustics' website and design and engineer in the UK. It's worth noting on the bottom, it says, Oi, look out. Please open on the opposite side. So again, open these at the top, not the bottom. So we'll roll these back over. The packaging itself is very good and you'll see from other unboxing videos of Q just how elaborate some of the packaging is and you'll get a good look at uh, what's inside ensuring that these things get to you in one piece. Um, uh, there's model and serial information on both ends and basic model information on the others. It's sealed closed with uh, sellotape so very very straightforward to open. Simple craft knife cut and away we go mentioned this before, but please, if you're ever dragging a craft knife across the top of something, just be careful. You better to just nick it and, and let the, uh, the tape tear, rather than dragging the knife across the whole surface. Now, folding this open, you get to see some of the first things inside, and I'll lift that up so you can have a quick look. Again, hang around for the photographs, you'll see close-ups of some of the accessories and bits and pieces. Now, the first is the first layer of packaging. Now this is elaborate and moulded designed for the speaker itself. Again, this is all designed to make sure this product gets to you in one piece. Um, lifting off the first piece of polystyrene, it has a nice bright indicator piece of tape telling you that there are some accessories included in this part. Getting at those is very, very straightforward. A simple little nick with a craft knife and you get the first little bag. Now in this bag, we have the uh, spikes. There are two different types of spikes, some slightly larger and slightly smaller ones depending on where they're positioned on the speakers. The larger ones sit at the front and the smaller ones the back with one of the feet. There's an Allen key, and there's a couple of screws. Worth noting also for those that are using tiled or hardwood floors, there's little rubber caps that enable them, at least enable those caps to go over the spike to ensure that that product doesn't damage that hardwood floor. Again, hang around, you'll see some of these close up. Right, further into the accessories is the product's uh, foot. At the rear of the speaker, uh, these get screwed in to provide a lot more stability. With speaker cabinets becoming smaller and narrower, um, stability is an important factor. And the front of the speaker is always the one that influences people's purchasing decisions as far as the look of these, um, these speakers. So having an outrigger foot at the rear means that you get uh, no net effect on uh, the elegance within a room, but you still get the stability. This is made of a cast metal of some kind and is curved to match beautifully the speaker itself. Okay, so there's that packaging. And away it goes. That's the bag. Another piece of moulded uh, polystyrene at the other end. And two pieces uh, protecting the front and rear of the speaker. Let's bring that forward so we can have a quick look. In the box, to one side is a, is a big bag of desiccant, which slipped down so I won't get it now, and one of the port wads. Um, each, of, each speaker has one wad, one set of accessories for one speaker. And at one end, we've got the Q Acoustics Q3000i series brochure, sorry, manual, uh, in a Ziploc bag. Taking the speaker from here, one of the easiest is now slip your hand delicately around it and then lift it out of the box. Getting rid of the box. So as I tip it forward before I get rid of it, these are the two discant bags I mentioned and away goes the packaging. Right, now rocking this over, it's very simple from this point to, to unbox the speaker itself. At this point of course it's not very stable, it doesn't have its outrigger feet fitted. 
Um, taking the bag, there's a, a, a protective sort of seal at the bottom, and I can that very, very straightforward. Um, scoop the bag over the front, lean it forward, and pack that seal until the bag opens freely. It reveals the speaker and of course within it the magnetic grill and the protective cloth that sits inside. The magnetic grill actually has a series of uh, foam over the magnets to ensure that at no point it will mark the front. And speaking of the front, this is where the magic starts to happen. These excellent speakers, I mean genuinely superb for the money, feature a silk dome tweeter, a mid-range and bass driver, beautifully timed, uh, beautifully engineered, and the, the makeup of these speakers are second to none in its price. These are a two and a half or three way speaker, and they're curved on all sides. The cabinet design is, is superb. Curving a cabinet and making it of a curved product means that um, standing waves and other things within it are far reduced. Uh, cabinet rigidity is much, much better. And look, this is a solid product. These curves add a significant amount of density to the box. Not only does it create better sound, but from a build quality, these are going to last. Despite their price, these are built brilliantly well. Okay, so mid-range mid tweeter, probably a bass driver. Looking at the back, and again, hang around for some of the close-ups, we'll see not only the front speakers, but also the rear. We've got a very large port, and around the port is the product's uh, 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 product code, and information about its impedance, which is 6 ohms, and recommended wattage. There's also the serial number and other things, and a nice little array around it. Further down is the very elegant, simple, and not very deep binding post. And again, hang around for some photographs, I'll take some close-ups of these. These are uh, 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 sort of reduced in size, but will still handle a bare wire, a banana, and a spade. Obviously very cleverly marked with positive and negative and colour delineation. At the bottom, just very briefly, again I'll show you the photographs later, uh, we have the taps for the spikes and the outrigger feet to make sure it's very, very easy for you to fit those. So of course, here we go. This excellent speaker, brand new to New Zealand, the Q3050i floor standing speakers from Q Acoustics, unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>